Hello again, this is the Watering Man. I'm going to do a little spiritual toolbox short here. And uh, <clears throat> we're still back in John chapter 4. I haven't forgotten. But there's just some things i got to take care of first. And uh, this one will give a little short one. I think it's short. It may turn out to be a half hour. <laughs> Which is short. Okay. And this is the color code that I use. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I know you see me. I highlight this stuff to give me more information quickly. So I can relate these pictures and stuff. Try to articulate it out quicker. Because God shows you much quicker than that. It, he can do it like this. He just bam in an instant. And it can come out for years. Yeah, I mean, it just, it, it keeps expanding. Mm, kind of like that Big Bang thing, the primordial atom, boom, out into every, all this whole universe stuff out here in the natural. Well, God can do what he wants. Now, <clears throat> A color code, if you define that, is a system for, man, I can't really read more, uh, for, oh, a system for displaying, um, oh, a system for displaying information by using different colors, okay, I wrote it so small that I couldn't even read it hardly. Okay, <laughs> I crammed this little page just full of kids, so I <clears> hope <throat> I can just and color code it so I can just boom and it come out because it's stuff very familiar to me. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna go over <clears throat> the primary colors, there's a different. There's three primary colors, and for paints, when you mix these, th mix three colors, the primary colors together, you get like a black or a brown. I uh, will get into that more, okay? In light, if you mix the three primary colors, you get a white light. Very different, okay? Now... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, now the first color, red. It's red in the face. Hmm. You're Adamic thinking, the beast nature. That's six, six, six. Humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking in your face, in your mind. Hmm. All right. So automatically red. Ooh, yuck. And we got to get that yuck stuff out and let God transform it into his enlightenment, his ways. Hmm. From just the paints that makes them with that red with the other primary colors, because red is a primary color in both paints and light. Okay? And in the paints, you mix that red plus the blue and the yellow which I will get to, you get brown color of poop. And you get um, like poop thinking, ooh, yuck thinking. And you get black, ignorance of God's love. Hmm. The absence of light. Okay? Now, <clears throat> so this red in the paints is, ooh, yuck, you're feeding on that. Damic, a damic nature. Ooh, yeah, poopy thinking. Ooh, 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 it's not producing good stuff when you do it my way. You can have it your way in the storm of life, but it's not God's way. <laughs> Leads to poop or darkness, black. It's the broad way. Leads to destruction. Hmm? 
could be called about it is death, separation from God. Okay, these all tie together real closely. Okay, but the word of God, sharper than any two-edged sword, right? It pierces, it divides asunder, the spirit and the soul, and the soul's a mixture of spirit of God with all this dirt thinking. Hmm? Poopy thinking and the spirit. God dropped mine that's down in there, but you gotta germinate that seed and that let that a skin fighter hmm, start piercing that red seeds of your mind. So you can walk across dryly on dry ground. Hmm? Firm footing. Not this poop slickery poopy thinking stuff. Are getting entangled in this red sea, the reeds of this reed sea, this red sea of your carnal thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can go really deep in this if you want to. I'm just going to try to lay it out a little bit. <clears throat> okay, it's a red way. Ooh, ooh. And that paints is leading to blackness, dark, brown. Ooh, yeah, your own poop thinking. When you feed that poop, Feed from your poop thinking. Tastes good in your mouth. Because it's agreeable with you. Mmm, boy. Down in your guts. When things start working out, it doesn't go good. It doesn't give you that permanent satisfaction. Any satisfaction that it gives you is just short-lived. Temporary and unsatisfactory. Transitory. It's like grasping after nutrients. Grasping after the wind. Nothing there. Hmm. Only God can get that. Hmm. Now in this, in the light, it's red, green, and blue is the primary colors. I'll define these, okay? Now this red way is being transformed. It's your aligning coming into union with God's way. In this red, green, and blue, and it makes white light. God's righteous, purified ways. God is light. God is love. God is light. You're coming up higher to his way of thinking. You're coming out of this brown, poopy, stinking thinking that this paints, that paints you a villain. Good, bad, and ugly. It's all ugly. It's painting you this yellow, red, and blue in your old Adamic way of thinking, your old poop way of thinking, your old humanistic way of thinking of the 666 nature. Just painting you out to be ignorant of God and being poop thinking. You're going down, your old pooper, pop, pop. Right? You're going down that, that toilet bowl. You're going down the quicksand. The more you struggle against it, the more you try to do it out of your might and your power, it's like you're eating that crap in your throat. In the quicksand, you're just going right on down. Hmm? Okay. That's a little tidbit. <clears throat> of red. <coughs> in relation to the three primary colors of paint, humanistic ways, and God's ways into light. Take that paint's taking you to brown and black. Thank you. Ooh, poopy, ignorance of God's ways. And the 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 red in the light has been enlightened to God's ways. It's coming into union with God's ways. It's resting in God's ways, not your own stinking thinking. Okay. Now <clears throat> We've been talking about red lighting God or green lighting God. It's in disagreement with God. Hmm. Red way. That's your old stinking thinking. You won't go that way. Hmm. Yeah, turn from going that way because that's the way we're, we're going naturally in our humanistic thinking. But that's not God's way. That's a good way and bad way. We're making up our own mind what's right. Instead of trusting the Lord with all your heart. All those thought processes in your mind. In this universal mind. And he will direct your path. Not you direct your path. Hmm. Okay. Now, let's go down here. 
let me let me go to the next primary color that's in both okay try to keep it blue okay and blue's kind of speaking to me like royalty okay now in the dark the the paints which is like royalty in the humanistic thinking getting puffed up and pride and arrogant and getting stuff for me myself and i and all it produces if you use the three primary colors red black and yellow is poop brown thinking or black thinking ignorance of god's ways death decay Ooh, that firmament of your mind, open expanse in your mind, was growing desolate. Ooh, yuck, it's just going out into nothing, like dark energy, pushing it all out there, going colder and colder to God's love. God's love being equated to about like gravity plus the other. Electromagnetism and strong weakness, therefore, is pulling it all back together. God's unifying you in Himself. This cosmos in here, not just talking this outside stuff. It's just to teach us about what's inside. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> so let's see what was that? Blue. Okay. Royalty. Are you trying to be royalty and impress everybody by polishing outside of your cup in your own humanistic thinking ways? Getting this brown huh, and black of God's love. Huh? You're just becoming more and more ignorant of God's love. Well, oh, this is a good thing, eh? It's increasing you when you mix it with the red, blue, and the yellow. In your own humanistic thinking, that six, six, six thinking, that's just three there too, huh? Three primary colors, three right there. Which way are you going? To the light? God's way of thinking, three primary colors of light, or three primary colors of your own paint thinking. Is painting you a villain? Hmm. Imagine that. That carnal mind, your own carnal mind, is enmity against, but that against is ice, E-I-S. That's two and then two, God's righteousness, and to God, to the light. God is light. God is love. Hmm. This thing's trying to take you into darkness. What be thinking? Hmm. It's not in all things. I count all things as... Boom, crap, for winning Christ. Very loose paraphrase, but it's a, read about it, study it. In, in Philippians 3, 8, it's all poop. Don't feed that, don't feed on that stuff. Palm tree, Jacob's well water, it's not the living water. Hmm. All right, now, if you're doing this blue light, and the light is bringing you into the royalty of God, into the higher up in the kingdom of God, that Basilu, uh, Basilia. Okay? You pronounce it ba Basilia, but uh, it's Muller's uh, Basilia. Okay? They translate that as kingdom. But it's the right to rule as a royal hero. Christ is bringing you up and setting you in the body where he sees fit. As you green like God, as you agree with him and wholeheartedly in hot pursuit, emphatically. Hmm? We'll get there in a little bit. Okay? So as you do it, this blue, use the blue with the paints. Ooh, that's Maybe like a good thing they can bring you in the royalty. Everybody's agree in agreement with you. Everybody's patting you on the back. That a boy, that a boy, that a boy, or that a girl. Man, I'm proud of you. And you're eating your own poop. Don't even know it. Huh. Was this red yet? 
red, blue, and the yellow in the paints. He's painting you out to be a villain to God, opposed to God's way. You're just going to me, myself, and I way. Hmm? Huh? All right. You're seeking the approval of men instead of the approval of God. When you use that blue in the light, the light shine like a green light, a red light, and a blue light all together, it becomes white, purified. Hmm? Huh? Sanctified, holy. It contains what's a the existence of all color in that white light. Hmm. All right. Well, <clears throat> see, they're fitting together kind of like uh, the fruit of the spirit. The nine nine ingredients that one one flavor, that one fruit, and that the main taste is just love. That love that's beyond the mere description of words. It's love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Against such there is no law. Because that's the law of the love of God. Bringing you up higher into His life. I did 122 recordings on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. Yeah, go back and look at them if you want. Okay? Plenty of material there for you. Okay, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> yellow, okay, now if you use yellow with red and blue in the paints, it's producing poop thinking, brown, huh? or black, ignorance of God's love, Ooh, destruction, decay, separation from God. Ooh, yuck. All that dark spots, like that dark matter, dark energy in your mind. <laughs> Ooh, yuck. Not bringing you into unity with God. Hmm? You're not resting with lying, because, man, you're afraid. I'm afraid of the dark. <laughs> right? Ooh, yuck. If you, there is no primary color in the light. Huh? When God's bringing you up here, this yellow in, in the, is speaking of understanding or enlightenment. Okay? God gives an increase into himself. God is understanding. If he's increasing you a little bit, then your understanding in God is, a, is increasing. Whenever you're using this yellow as a primary color in this paints, it's bringing you into poop thinking. More poop thinking. You can't drive out the Lord of the Flies, that black poop thinking, that black and brown poop stuff. Ignorance of God love with more poop. More of your own carnal ways of thinking, can you? No. You might think, oh yeah, I can. That's a good thing. Look at me, I'm a big billy bob. <laughs> or whatever. Look on the John Wayne. The, no. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You know, you can't. Uh -uh. No might and power, no pride, no arrogance. You know, yuck. No alpha dog. Oh, that's second. I hate that crap. Huh? That's the yeah, vomit that junk out. With extreme disgust, spew it out of your mouth, like that and God's doing. Ooh, yo, get out of here, beat it. Because that alpha dog is not God. It's mixture. Hmm. It's a beast. Get out of here. Trying to check you or trying to bully you. Hmm. -mm. It's it's a Jacob nature. It's trying to trip you up. Hmm? It's a trickster. It's a tripper, a heel grabber. <laughs> right? Like in a football game, that's just about almost making the guy up, jumps up there and grabs him by the heel, trips him up. Boom, he's tackled. <laughs> Trying to trip you up in your lifestyle, that Jacob Nature is. Boop. You almost got it, didn't you? You gotta be quicker than that. 
<laughs> Gotta be faster than that. You can't be fast enough to get away from that. That uh, carnal beast nature by your own might and power. You gotta turn it over to God. The battle is the Lord's. Hmm? All right? A green light God. Da da da. da. Uh, know your ways. Hmm? Okay. So we took care of. That's the red and the blue. And those are both primary colors in paint and in light. Okay. Now, <clears throat> and we took care of yellow. That one's used as your primary color. Trying to understand it in your own might and power. Your own humanistic thinking. Turn it out there. Scientifically prove it. It's going to be tangible, provable stuff before I believe it. I got to see it to believe it. It's not faith in God. Hmm? You don't need faith if you got it right in your hand. But that could be an illusion to the trickery. I got it, I got it. Oh, man, I don't got it. My good works and my bad works, I don't got it. Hmm? You can't grasp those neutrinos. Like, you know, like in the natural. You can't grasp after the wind. You expect to get anything of God. God gives the increase. Okay? Now, so that red, blue, and yellow in your own humanistic thinking, trying to enlighten yourself by these natural means, trying to gain understanding in your own strength and your own power, all it produces is black, ignorance of God's righteousness, ignorance of God's love, ignorance of God. Or poop, black, brown. Ooh, yuck, it's all destruction. Poopy thinking. Hmm? That's one's own righteousness. Ooh, yuck. See, don't be or exist as a poop stirrer. You know, some people want to go out there and they just want to cause trouble and stir shit up. <laughs> and they're seeing here, they start to smell with the old eye in there. I'm going to trip people up and then laugh at them. Don't exist as that. You're not going to get anything of God doing that. Your little chuckle or something, laugh it up. That's all you're getting. And stuff will like turn around and bite you right in the butt. Hmm. You're covering, not your hat or a scarf or that over your head. You're covering your thinking your own. So, okay, I'm independent of God. What is that, the Gergesite? Deuteronomy 7 1? Independent. Attitude. I'm independent of God's ways. I don't need Him tell me nothing. Hmm? Oh, crap. Trying to be your own God. My king is my own thinking. Hmm? Uh oh, false king. I think you'll be driven out. That thing, too, in your earth. Turn your mind. One must, the ego, must leave, must beat it, hit the road. Huh? The ego must decrease, and God must increase. See? So you go God, God's way, you increase in the God. You don't, you're going to get this brown or black carnal thinking. You're going to go down, drum shit up, pop, pop. Because we eat your own stuff. Instead of partaking of God's ways, okay? Now, that's the paints. The three primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow. Okay, but you're not getting the yellow, the increase in the God's ways doing that. The yellow in God's ways being enlightened to God's righteousness. You only get that by green lighting God and agreeing with God. Being purified, okay? Now we then covered yellow, red, and blue. And this red in the God's ways is coming out of this, from out of this old poop thing in this red edemic ways. Agreeing with God, turning from that and going God's ways. In every storm, and he'll increase you little bit by little bit by little bit. From glory to glory, faith to faith. 
not one cataclysmic leap and you're done. Hmm. To him that endures until the end, the same shall be delivered. Okay. Now, and the, the blue is you're becoming royalty. Come to a higher and higher and higher level. You're leveling up from 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16 in every way. You're coming up to higher in the Basilia. Or Basilia, I'm sorry. Basilia. The kingdom, the ruling realm, the right to rule in the ruling realm of God. You're coming up higher, denser, brighter, more glorious in God's ways. Huh? You're increasing to a heavier and heavier and heavier, more dense in God's character in your thinking. And that's what you're living out of, that thermostat, which is God himself. And not all this old poop thinking, this black ignorance of God's ways. Where they're saying, yeah, trying to give you a lollipop and tell you it's good. Like I say, Thomas, that's you. That's your own stinking thinking. Or it's to condemn you to hell and... Or condemn or whatever it's saying, it's black yuck stuff. Ooh, good and bad. Condemnation guilt, lollipops. It's all BS. From the wrong tree to good, share knowledge of good and evil. Ooh, yeah, okay. And now, red, blue, this is in light, and green in light. Huh? Green, that's a green. With God, wholeheartedly, emphatically, everything you got in hot pursuit. At whatever level you're at, you're coming through here towards the red way, towards your own humanistic thinking about faith. And God calls to you. When he's the called out one, this thought process is still be spotted in your shot. Chop it out, skin it out, turn. Do a repentance, a metanoia, a metanoia. Change the way you think. Come from out of that and go the pro way, God's way. All right, and all the more go broke down for you in that meta. All right, and come back into the E and this way, and that's where you're hidden, resting in, in, in relation with rest, and that's why in in union with God. Come His way, the green way. Hmm. And that's the life, the fullness of life in God. Hmm. Not this old carnal thing and think, man, I'm the light right now. Do, 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 do. In the natural. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Double minded bullshit. Worthless and detestable. It's not going to produce any pearls of great price in your mind. Not your brain. Not something tangible. Because an evil and adulterous generation or age. I believe that's a ion, a ion, a i o n, or a form of that. And it means age. It could be generation. It's just age. Hmm. An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, tangible proof. Something physical here. Or I'm not gonna believe it. But none will be given except sign of Jonah the prophet. We don't know what that is. Okay. <clears throat> now, when you use that red, green, come back to God. The blue, come back to God. Getting an increase in his royalty. Then God gives it. And the green, your green, wholeheartedly emphatically, becoming a widow to that old way of thinking and coming into God. When all three of those are satisfied and it qualifies with God, booyah, baby, there's light. White light, an increase in light, and that light is hot. Hot for God, not hot pursuit. It's emphatic. It's so hot, it's welding. Because God's welding it back to himself. So that little light, two to the zero power, one, and you do it again, is doubling to two. Do it again to four. God's welding it. He's building his relationship so you can live in that land of Goshen in Christ. It's no longer I that lives, but it's Christ that lives in me. You're living in that part. You're thinking not out there in the black stuff. Where all the plagues of like Egypt, that worldly thinking is going on. No, you're living in Christ. 
Booyah. I'm coming on up. Boom. Here, old Bobby. Here. Getting that new one. Okay. Now, that's coming into the, the presence of all color. Hmm. Now, orange is made from red and yellow. Turning from this red way of thinking to your dynamic way of thinking and come back and combine that with the enlightenment of God and it becomes orange. Orange is representing the love of God, the understanding of God. In his enlightenment, you're becoming a new man. I become new in God. Okay? Uh, cover black and brown. Yuck. Right? Purple. That's God's government and administration. Hmm? That's being or existing in God up to whatever level. Woo. Okay. Uh, that pretty, pretty gives you a good basis, a good start on that. Okay. I'm about to run out of time. I love you. If you like this, hit like and subscribe. When I'm color coding this, there's a whole lot more goes into this. Hmm? But as I habitually practice it, boom, it's just, it's speaking a lot more than just the words on the page, just like in the, the Bible. There's a lot more than just skimming through there. I don't read that in two seconds. Yeah, but what'd you get? Bunch of dung, probably. Okay, have a great day. Hit like, subscribe, share these. Thank you. Bye-bye.